Um, hello. I know you're expecting to see our film now. Well, um, there's been a slight, a slight problem. Stop motion is a traditional animation technique that moves a physical object in small increments between photograph frames to produce the illusion of fluid motion. 3D printed replacement animation is an increasingly popular technique to animate deformable objects like faces, but can be prohibitively expensive for amateur filmmakers. We present F-Stop, the first system designed to optimize the number of replacements that need to be 3D printed and assembled as a stop motion sequence, providing high quality approximation of input computer animation. The input to our system is a computer animation of deformable 3D objects like faces. We first segment the object into parts with near rigid segment boundaries. By solving for zero deformation along the boundaries, we guarantee that parts can be seamlessly assembled together, effectively multiplying the expressive range of the 3D printed replacements. We then find the set of replacements for a part by iteratively interleaving selection of the replacement set and mapping the input animation frames to the current replacement set using a graph cut approach. Once the set of replacement parts have been found, we 3D print them and instrument them with plugs so the object parts can be quickly and sturdily assembled together or detached. So this floating head walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, buddy, what? <sighs> you, know, you know what? I, I don't have anything. This is, I really don't. I'm... <sighs> if I had legs, I would leave. Will you get out of here? Will you? I'm trying to run an office here. Now, will you go to lunch? Go to lunch. Will you go to lunch? Um, hello. I know you're expecting to see our film now. Well, um... There's been a slight, slight problem. The velocity term is critical in preserving smoothness and correct timing of transitions between frames of the input animation. Absence of this term can result in both spatial popping and temporal sliding.
Saliency weights guide optimization to better approximate small but perceptually important regions of deformation. Without saliency weights, optimization sometimes fails to produce stop motion results that close the eyes. Weights can be increased around the eyelids to guide optimization to properly close the eyes. Users can choose the size of the replacement library. Smaller size will be faster and cheaper to 3D print, but decreases the quality of the result. Hello. I know you're expecting to see our film now. Well, um, there's been a slight, a slight problem. <laughs>